Hello. So first tutorial video, just to test, see how this goes. I'm going to do a Nikki uh, marble kind of thing on a cup. Not sure I've mastered her technique, but this is kind of my version. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn you around so you can see what we got going on. I have part A of my epoxy in my little silicone bowl. This is what I use. And the first, this is part A. So the first thing I'm going to do is heat this up. I like to warm the A by itself. thick and hard to work with, but I feel like when I warm it first and then add my B, um, I don't cook it together as long. And the way I like it is I like it for it to be super runny like that, okay? I do use a metal, little metal cake stir. I feel like it less bubbles. It cleans off pretty easy, reusable, no sticks. Um, I am using Pro Marine, and my little, my little bowls have ounce markers in there. I don't think you can see them really. But um, I put two ounces of A in, and then I use these one ounce squeezers, and I also mark, like, watch the mark inside the cup, and I'm just going to squeeze two ounces of my B in. Perfect. And I'm going to stir that, like we all do. Get it nice and mixed up for a minute or two. I'm not so worried about bubbles for these because I am going to mix up some um, aluminite dyes in some of my colors to make this marbling effect. The one I'm doing is going to be red, black, and white. It's for a local school, school color cup that I got an order for. Okay, so I have my epoxy while mix. So the first thing I do is I put a thin layer on my cup and I let that turn while I'm mixing my other epoxy. So I'm just turning here. You can kind of see my cup turning here. Let's see, and forgive me for my bad camera techniques. I'm learning, guys. I'm just learning. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, so I have these cool little silicone brushes I got on Amazon um, that I like to use. And I will just brush on. And for this technique, you don't want a big flood of um, epoxy, but you do want a base coat. Just helps um, your paint flow or paint whatever you want to call it, your colors, your glitters. Accents, I don't know, whatever y'all call it. 
Um, I like these brushes because I don't have to use my hands. Um, I feel like I make less of a mess. I like that they are cleanable. You just let them dry, peel the little epoxy pieces out, or wipe them down with a baby wipe before you put them away. I use baby wipes for everything. I don't know what you guys use. Just my cup a little bit here too. Feels like it's a little unlevel for me. And don't forget the bottom. I need a little bit on the bottom. I'll just get back over and make sure. Got some everywhere. So I use these little Dixie cups to make my epoxy colors. Um, so I take my little epoxy, and I'm just going to divvy it out into some of these cups. I know I'm going to need some of every color here. So I want some one for black, one for red, one for white. I also mix my glitters into some epoxy, so we'll do a red, and we'll do a black, and we'll do a white. And then I have a little bit extra, just in case. So let's see. These are aluminite dyes that I use. Read backwards, but um, you'll just take your epoxy. pretty red so I'll put quite a bit in there and take my little stir here so this red um, it's okay but it's not the red red that I'm going for um, I'm gonna show you another thing I use Called glass paint. Um, the box looks like this. It's Magido glass paint. M A G I C D O glass paint. Something I got on Amazon. And they're these like kind of trans. They're almost they're a little translucent-y. But I'm gonna add some of this crimson to this red to darken this red up because I want a darker. Our colors are like red, red, not this. Is, not the red I want. This red that Illuminite makes is almost like an orangey red, and I don't like it. But it does give a start to a color, so for this school I kind of mix together these two colors. A little more crimson, so I get the one I want. Um, I've used acrylic paints, you know, to make sure epoxy colors, but I find they make it gummy. These glass paints do not. They're really thin. They're like a transparent paint. So now it's getting more like the red that I want. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I've got some red ready. 
that away so I don't make a mess. All these extra bottles laying around here. A handy baby wipe. Wipe off my little mixer here. And I need some black. Don't need a lot of black. The black goes pretty far, I think. That is, there was just a little drop of this stuff. Black goes a really long way. Scrape that off. Gonna wipe off my little sturdy stick here. Move on to the white. Good white. little guys so I just have some Hobby Lobby black that I use this fun piggy from hog it's a little white with some little pretties in it give it a try on this cup we'll see to give lessons on how to make good videos. Some of you ladies got this down pat and I'm like, suck. <laughs> and then I got another hobby ready. This little chunky. Get a little dimension to our little cup here that we're about to make here. Chunky. because he's all good now. Okay, so I have my six colors. I've got my red, I've got my black, I've got my white, and then I've got red, black, and white glitter. Um, let me grab my little brushes here. Sorry, you guys are seeing all kinds of stuff you don't want to see probably. Okay. I have two little silicone brushes that are tip brushes that I use. These I can wipe off again and I like just like the way that they put the, the ink on. So I am going to turn you back to our cup and we're gonna get started painting this guy. Whatever we want to call him. Let's see if I can really help some little of the see on that side there. Okay. My cup's a little crooked. I'm just gonna go and straighten him out. I guess I can go on there quicker. Just straighten it out a little bit. 
Okay, so I think I want this cup to be more black <clears throat> and white with a little bit of red because um, she also wants some like baseball threads on here and some other stuff. So I'm just gonna start colors I just take this brush and I literally I just wipe them off with my baby wipe and then I can move on to the next color so I'm going to put a little white in there right next to that black I don't know. we'll see how this goes I don't claim this is the Nikki method because I'm not sure I do it right red still looks too orangey. I still want to darken it up a little bit more. I just don't like it.
just keep adding color until I like it. I'm just like a <laughs> um, Pollock. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Paint splatter Pollock. It's like a little color on the bottom here. It's not really a marble, is it? Is a a name. I'm sure someone has mastered this technique or started this technique. Or... To me, it reminds me of a Pollock bean. Okay, my white elephant. See your, your epoxy will start getting almost stringy, but it actually works really well that it's stringy because you can like like literally drag it and let those lines flow all the way from the top to whatever angle it is you're going for. Oh no, I think it's cool. Whatever. Not everybody might. Therapeutic. <laughs> Live on making cups. Not too much fun on this one because I'm going to have to figure out how to put those baseball threads on here in a little while. After this thing is all, it's like phase two. Actually, gonna pause it. Pause my turner for just a second. So I want to make sure I get this right where I want it, and so I'll start it back up here in a second. Okay. I want some there. I want some of this red here. This turner I'm on does move kind of fast, so I'll just pause it for a second. Get this where I want it to be. Sorry, back up. I'm not sure that people do it this way, but I don't know. It works for me. Put some in there. No, no, no. I like it to turn that direction, you know, for whatever reason. Just move so fast. I'm trying to catch it. Add more to some of those spots we did in here. Ooh.
this pretty white glitter. Let's see how this turns out. are like happy accident cups. You just don't know what they're going to turn out to be like until they do. See, this is the problem with these cups. I just keep looking at them and then I want to add stuff and add stuff and you never know what you're going to get here, but I really like the black glitter inside the black paint. It really pops. cheer coach so it's gonna be super cool once they get all the decals on it and whatnot but they like glitter right sparkle and shine sparkle and shine okay so I am gonna hit it with my little my little kitchen flame torch guy and I'm just gonna pop any bubbles that I got in there and like heating up, let it flow a little better. And then we'll see what happens. About it. I let it turn. I let it dry. I'll go back. I'll add um, decals. Um, it should be pretty smooth. I won't need to sand it or anything. And then I'll add my decals, my names. And that's like my marble paint Pollock happy accident cup. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks for watching.